Today, let's learn how to use a whiteboard in PowerPoint as ready-made slides on the go for during your presentations. Set up a template or use a blank slide for unlimited note-taking, brainstorming, and more. I'm Sarah from ClassPoint, and before we get started, hit that subscribe button. That way you can stay updated with the best PowerPoint tips and tricks for presenters and teachers. To be able to easily access these ready-to-go PowerPoint slides during your presentation, like this, we're gonna need the free PowerPoint add-in ClassPoint. So you can head to classpoint.io and sign up, download, and install for free. And once that's done, when you open up any of your PowerPoint files, you'll see the Ink No ClassPoint tab here in the PowerPoint ribbon. When you enter your presentation mode, on the bottom toolbar, you can see the whiteboard icon. When you click into this, you can see ClassPoint's pre-designed templates. That way you can add them into your presentation and begin filling it with content right away. If none of these catch your eye, stick around and I will teach you how to design your own custom whiteboard slide. So once we add one of these slides into our presentation, you can begin annotating on the slide with different pens, shapes, highlighters, and even text boxes. All of these annotations will save right into your PowerPoint file. That way, when you exit back out, you have a record of all of this information. Now, to design your own custom whiteboard slide, in the More Features icon up here, in the drop-down menu, click on the whiteboard backgrounds, and from there, we can go ahead and add our very own. You might want to use a current slide in your file, so that could be an exit ticket that you want to ask students at the end of every day, or it could be something like this that you can use to start your presentations every day. Or you can go ahead and upload your own image from your device. So any of the images you have saved can be used. Like this one, we have a map here that is perfect for geography or history classes. We can go ahead and give it a name. And once that's added in and we enter our presentation mode again, when, this time when we click on the whiteboard icon and toggle over to show the custom whiteboards, the one that you just designed will be there. To learn more about annotating or class points, other interesting features you see, like the AI quiz maker, spinning wheel of names, and interactive quiz questions with gamification, subscribe to the ClassPoint channel and take a look at this video.